We're still on uh, pace 1104, and we're going to talk about rationalizing the denominator in uh, pages 22 through 24. So mathematicians make up rules, okay? It's their subject, and uh, they decide what they uh, will accept as a final answer or a simplified answer. And so they have determined that when we write an expression that has a radical in it, we are not allowed to have a radical, okay, remember that symbol, the check mark with the line over it, in the denominator, okay? So if we end up with something like this, we first have to write it as square root of two over square root of seven, so we can separate the numerator from the denominator, but I'm not allowed to have a square root in the denominator. So what we have to do, <coughs> is multiplied by whatever that denominator is because remember when we multiply it times itself then that denominator pops out from under the radical now I just have a whole number seven but I have to do the same thing to the top as well so I have to do the same thing top and bottom and now I can multiply the two times the seven okay and I'll let you do that because this is actually one of your problems for your homework so I'm not going to finish it for you I'll let you finish that now let's look at this over here. We have five over two square root of three. What is the radical part of that? The radical part is the square root of three, okay? So we have to multiply top and bottom by the square root of three. And so the square root of three will pop out and you'll get a six now in the denominator because the three times the two is six and now I can leave the five square root of three on the top. Now what if you had accidentally multiplied by the entire denominator, two square root of three, what would you have gotten? I'll leave this here so you can compare. Let's look at it. The two times two would be four, times the three would be 12, okay? And then on the top, we would have 10 square root of three. But then you would notice that, oh, the 10 and the 12 are you know, we can reduce that. If you had 10 12, so you could divide them both by two and get five over six, and so we get the same thing as this, okay? So it's okay if you do that, it's just you'll have one step at the end to simplify, no big deal, all right? This one's a little more complicated. We're going to first separate it and have 16, the fourth root of 16, over the fourth root of nine. And so we need to multiply by the fourth root of nine on the top and the bottom, okay? And so then that means that the nine is just gonna pop out. And then uh, we can put these together, although we can actually simplify the fourth root of 16. Is there a number that times itself, times itself, times itself, times itself equals 16? Yes, there is, okay? So I'm not gonna finish that for you. I'll let you do that. And um, then I think we just tack, tack that on the fourth root of nine, it could be simplified a little bit. I'm not sure if they do that in the score key or not. But anyways, I'll let you finish that and uh, meet up with you after the next checkup.